Have you backed up your computer with CrashPlan, but now received a new computer and need to transfer your files over and continue backing up to the same archive? In CrashPlan, we call this process device replacement. I'm Brian, and I'd like to show you how to do this. The first thing you'll need to do is to download the CrashPlan installer. Since you're replacing a device, I assume you already know how to do this, so we won't talk through that part. Download and run the CrashPlan installer, and our walkthrough will pick up from there. Once you've installed the CrashPlan application, it will ask you to sign in. When you sign in with a user who has previously backed up data with CrashPlan, it will bring you to a window asking you whether you want to add a new device or replace an existing one. Since we're replacing a device, we'll click the Replace Existing button. This takes us to the Device Replacement window, which tells us the three steps for replacing a device. We'll choose the device to replace, transfer the settings from our old device to our new device, and then start backing up our new device. To proceed, click the Start button. Now we need to select the device that we are replacing. As a reminder, the device we are replacing is the one that has previously backed up the archive that we want to attach to our new device, and whose settings we want to apply to our new device. Select the device from the list, then click Continue. This brings us to the window for Step 2, transferring files to our new device. If the files that we want on the new device are already in place, we can click the Skip File Transfer button. This will ask us to confirm that we want to skip the transfer of files, and we can acknowledge that, yes, we want to skip the transfer, or we can cancel to return to the Transfer Files page. For the purpose of this walkthrough, we will assume that we need to download the files that we previously backed up to the archive and click the Select Files button. We will now see the files that have been backed up to the archive. We can select any of these files that we want to restore, then click the Restore Files button to initiate the transfer. Depending on how many files you need to restore, this part may take some time. One thing to keep in mind is that files will be restored in the order that you add them to the queue in this way. If you have some files that you need right away, it might be wise to queue them up first before adding the rest of your files to the queue. Once we click Restore Files, we are taken to the Options window. Here we tell CrashPlan how we want it to deal with the files that we are restoring, and any files it finds in the location that we are restoring to. If you're transferring your files to a new computer, you likely want to keep it set at the defaults. These settings are to restore to the original location, rename any existing files with the same names, and use the current permissions. Keeping these settings means that your files will be back in place on your new machine in the same place they were on the old one, and that your current user will have the permissions required to utilize them. Once we've chosen the settings we want, we will click Go, and the restore will begin. You'll see a Downloads window appear, and it will show you the status of the restore. If you're queuing up multiple items, you'll repeat the process now. Once you've added everything that you want to restore to the queue, click Continue, and you'll be taken to a window that shows you what you have queued. On this page, you'll see a button to transfer more files, allowing you to add more files to the queue, and a Next button which will be disabled until your transfer is complete. Once the transfer is complete, we'll click Next. We're now taken to the Transfer Settings step. This brings over the settings from our previous device and ensures that our file selection is set on our new device. To proceed, we'll click Continue. Once we've done so, the settings will transfer and it will be asked to sign in again. When we do, we will see that our device replacement has completed and our new device is ready to begin backing up to the original archive. Click Finish to complete the process. Congratulations, you've successfully gone through the device replacement and your new computer is now protected. Be sure to check out our other helpful instructional videos if there are other processes that you have questions about.